I did my first ultra marathon last summer and it was just a really good feeling knowing that if you train hard and work hard that you can accomplish it. So, and the furthest I've gone so far is 100K, which is 63 miles. So we're gonna get started in talking about what these little toys are that you have at your, your tables. But everybody can build, right? What we're doing today, everybody can do, no matter if you're good or bad at other stuff. Um, I do apologize if I sweat in here as soon as it gets humid. I'm a runner and I start to sweat. This is our second summer here, so we have two groups of girls, a group of seventh grade girls and a group of eighth grade girls. And the main purpose of the camp is to like develop the whole person. So if, with a focus on STEM, over 50% of their time is doing STEM activities, so science, technology, engineering, and math, and hands-on, mind-on, engaged, having fun, getting them interested in math. So do you guys know what you want to do when you're done with school? Well, what do you want to do? Well, I, I want to be a chef, I want to be an actress, a forensic pathologist, and a CSI agent. Cool. Dang. You'll be busy. I don't know the what forensic I stuff sounds pretty cool. You've got time. Yeah. If their interest in STEM is going to drop, it's going to be at the middle school level. So we try to find girls that from underrepresented groups that might kind of drop off in the STEM if they didn't have some support along the way, but they've shown interest in STEM and they've shown promise and they apply through Girls Inc. and they come here and we follow them for five years actually. They start in seventh grade and we follow them all the way through with two years on our campus and try to get them at that critical point when they could drop off. But it's also a critical point because you can make an impact and influence them as well at that time. So I moved here for in, from Fargo, North Dakota almost two years ago and I've loved it ever since I got here. As soon as I got here, the community, the campus, everyone just took me in as if I'd been here forever and I found support in both running and in on campus here. I've been able to, there's stuff I've wanted to do before in teaching but just not had the support. No. I'm trying to teach, keep telling Keegan that she needs to be a math teacher. Does or at least a math a major. Math, math is not I know, she's subject. pretty good at math though. I'm not good at math. I'm in oh. three algebra right now. Well, I was. All these ladies in here are pretty good at math. So I started out actually not liking running and I was curious as to why everyone else that I talked to that did run loved it so much. So I trained for a half marathon. And then after that, I, after I did my half, I was hooked. And people told me the opposite. It was almost like math where people say, oh, that's no fun. You're not going to like that. Uh, but after I finished the marathon, I didn't have the feelings everybody said I'd have that I would be done running and hate it. I actually liked it and wanted a little more. And then when I moved to Omaha, I still thought that going further than a marathon was crazy until I met a good support group and network. And that's similar to what we're trying to develop in the Eureka Camp is a network between the girls and then a network among faculty that are here too. It's just trying to get the students to maybe struggle a little bit first and realizing that struggling is part of the math STEM part of things and when you hit that moment that that struggle is worth it because when it makes sense and it's kind of that aha eureka you moment then it makes it all worthwhile. 